Hey everyone, another weekend of European soccer is ahead of us and I've created two parlays for this weekend from the top leagues to focus on this week. Last week I went one and one on the year. We've gone at 12 and three in these European soccer weekend picks. So let's hope for some more success this week. Now, if you want more soccer picks, uh, be sure to subscribe to this channel and give this video a like so you can see more picks all year long. Now let's start it off with Tottenham and Liverpool in the EPL. Last year, Liverpool won 4-3 and 2-1 when these teams met. Liverpool is undefeated in 12 games versus Tottenham as well. But if you're betting just both teams to score, that bet is on a 6-0 run, and both teams to score on over 2.5 is 5-1 in the last six between these teams. This year, both are off to flying starts, with Liverpool being second with 15 points and Tottenham fourth with 14. Now both have scored 15 goals, and they've only allowed five and seven goals, respectively, for Liverpool and Tottenham. Despite only allowing five goals, both teams to score is still 5-1 and one in Liverpool's games. Now, Liverpool have been rolling for some time now, and they're undefeated in the EPL in 17 games, and they've scored in 16 of those 17 games as well. But Spurs haven't lost in any of their past seven in the EPL either, and they have scored multiple goals in each of those games as well. Liverpool games, they've gone 5-1 and one to over 2.5 totals, and Tottenham have gone 4-2. and two. I think we should see goals in this game. It's what we usually see. Both teams are in good form so far to start the year. I think we should see a goal from both. Let's go both teams to score in this parlay, and we'll pair it with a game in the Bundesliga in Germany, and it's Leipzig and Bayern Munich. The Leipzig are a team that have given Bayern some trouble. They won 3 0 in this year's Super Cup, and last year they won 3 1 in Bayern, and the teams drew 1 1 in Leipzig. In the two games prior to that, Bayern won, but they, they were by scores of 5 3 and 3 2. So Leipzig were certainly in those games and scored goals themselves. In the past six head to head games, over 2.5 is 5 1, over 3.5 is 4 2. Bets on both teams to score is 5 1. Both teams to score over 2.5 is 4 2. Looking at this season, Bayern lead the table at 4-1-0, while Leipzig are fourth, coming in at 4-0-1, with just one point separating the teams in the early stages of this year. Now, both have allowed just four goals, while Bayern has scored 17 and Leipzig have scored 14. Bayern is usually, they're usually locks to score in basically every game they're playing in, but Leipzig, too, have been consistently finding the score sheet. It's something they have done in 17 of their past 18 games. So knowing that, and knowing that Leipzig are a team that have been giving Bayern some problems, and then we can see a goal from each here at least as well. So we'll go both teams to score in this game as well. So we have both teams to score in Leipzig and Bayern, as well as Liverpool and Tottenham for a parlay at minus 109 odds. And the second parlay is going to be spread out over Friday, Saturday, and Monday. We're starting in the Bundesliga here, and it's Hoffenheim and Dortmund. That's the one Friday game. That's usually good news for home teams in the Bundesliga, home, home teams that are hosting that one game on a Friday. Dortmund got the best of Hoffenheim in both games, though, last season as they won one nothing in both of those games. But this season, so far, it's Hoffenheim who lead in the standings, being 5th with 12 points, just ahead of Dortmund in 6th with 11. Dortmund is still undefeated, though, at 3-2-0, and they have only allowed 5 goals in their 5 games so far. Whereas Hoffenheim lost their first game before reeling off 4 straight wins, where they've scored 2 or 3 goals in all of those 4 games. All of their games have featured plenty of goals for Hoffenheim. They lost 2-1, and they had wins of 3-2, 3-1, 3-1, and 2-0. Hoffenheim are 5th in scoring and they're 5th in XG this season, but they've also allowed the 5th most shots on target, the 3rd most attacking 3rd touches, and the most attacking 3rd touches as well. This game looks like goals to me. Dortmund haven't played in a scoreless draw in 132 games since 2019, and they have scored in 25 straight Bundesliga games. I do, though, have some concern since Dortmund is going to be playing in the Champions League next week. They've already lost to PSG. They are at home to Milan next week, who drew 0-0 in there first Champions League game. So this is a game that Dortmund will certainly have circled, needing to get some points. Possibly we see some rotation. That game, though, is a few days away with this being on a Friday. So tough to know right now. Now, since losing at home to Dortmund last year, though, one nothing. Hoffenheim have scored in each of their next seven home games, scoring 17 goals in those games. Dortmund, they've already allowed Bochum to score one and Heidenheim and Freiburg to score two. So I think Hoffenheim could certainly get on the score sheet here. Like I said, probably both teams will score, maybe over 2.5, but certainly I think Hoffenheim at home here on Friday will at least get one to kick off our parlay. And next up, it's still in the Bundesliga and it's Mainz and Leverkusen. This is on Saturday. Now for Mainz to pull the upset here, it could turn out to be one of the bigger ones in Europe this weekend as they're currently 18th, which is last in the Bundesliga at 1-4-0, and they've been outscored so far 14-4. However, they did beat Leverkusen in the last meeting 3-2. Leverkusen won the earlier game 3-0, but in two of the past three games, Mainz has now won 3-2. Leverkusen are second, though, this season. They're tied in first with Bayern. Uh, 
Tied in first in Bayern, just on second in goal differential. Bayern are 4-1-0 uh, scoring. They've scored 17, and they've allowed just six for Leverkusen. Now, Leverkusen have scored three, three, five, and two, and four goals this season, with Victor Boniface leading the team with six goals. Mainz can, though, pull upsets. They did beat Bayern Munich 3-1 at home last year, but then they ended the season with three straight losses, and that form has continued into this season. Since that Bayern win, Mainz have gone 0-2-8, and they've been outscored 29-9, allowing multiple goals in nine of those 10 games. Leverkusen does look like the team to get the road win here. They surely should score. They definitely should at least win or draw. So let's go Leverkusen, double chance to be safe. So that's a win or a draw for Leverkusen. And then we'll move into Serie A on Monday to round out this parlay, and it's Sassuolo and Monza. Both of these teams are usually good for their games, seeing at least two goals. Sassuolo are 6-0 and to over 1.5 totals. And ahead of their Thursday game with Bologna, Monza were also 5-0. and Monza haven't been in great form to start this season. They're just 1-2-2 and two and two prior to Thursday's game, and they have conceded a goal in 4-5 of five and also in all three of their road games. The Sassuolo didn't start strong themselves, losing three out of four, but they have, though, since beaten Juventus 4-2 and Inter 2-1, and that Inter game was even on the road, and they scored multiple goals now in each of their past four games. Last year when these teams played, it was 1-1 in Monza, and Monza won 2-1 in Sassuolo. Sassuolo right now looks like the team in the better form, and they could win if you were looking just for a single bet. Surely there should be at least two goals for over 1.5 in a parlay, or definitely Sassuolo to at least score at home here. They will also have the more rest having played on Wednesday as opposed to Monza playing on Thursday. Let's go Sassuolo to score. So it's Sassuolo to score, Leverkusen double chance, and Hoffenheim to score at minus 145. That wraps up my European soccer picks for this weekend. Be sure to let me know who you're betting in the comments, and best of luck with all of your picks this weekend.